Welcome. Today we will explore why you would upgrade to Reason 8.3. So we got a point release recently, and that doesn't mask some questions to whether or not it's time for some people to upgrade. Well, depending on what release of Reason you're on, and what kind of system you're running, and your personal needs, this may vary. So let me walk you through. Now, a giant warning or disclaimer or whatever. If you are not running on a 64-bit system, do not upgrade to Reason 8.3. This point update has removed 32-bit Reason, allowing Propellerhead to focus on development under modern requirements. Basically, they want to start working on 64-bit versions of Reason only, and trying to do all the backwards compatibility stuff is kind of holding them off. So this is also very important to anyone who is using Reason to rewire to a host that is 32-bit only. I don't want you to be stuck with something that hinders you in any way, so just be aware. So, if you are running on Reason 1 through 5, you should upgrade. With everything that has been added to the program in the last few years, you're really missing out on what may seem like an entirely new program. The host of new devices that will be added to your library, the addition of audio recording and manipulation and EQ and effects and third-party purchasable devices really guarantees the value of a meager $129. The only couple of things that should hold you back are pretty simple. With all the things that were added, there was also an expectation and need to use some of the latest hardware as a benchmark. If you're not close to what is expected with the minimum system requirements, it may be better for you to first upgrade your computer and then work on upgrading your software. Now, if you have Reason to Record as I did, I would expect that you were able to upgrade to Reason 6 between September 30th and October 31st of 2011 for $1 or more under the Pay What You Want deal. If you somehow miss this opportunity, then you may still be in a good position. You have audio recording and the SSL mixer along with the ID8 and Neptune. You will only be missing four new devices and the ability to download rack extension plugins and use them within the DAW. If that and the other additions don't make you feel like you need to update, then you're probably fine. What you have should be enough for you to be able to create without much of a hindrance. Now, Reason 6.5 owners, your upgrade here should be based squarely on your needs. You have rack extensions, and there have been only workflow changes and only three additions to you in free effects, REs or otherwise in addition to MIDI out. Now, here are your key points. Without Reason 7.1, you cannot use rack extensions created using the SDK 2 or 2.1, which includes devices that have touch displays and many more. This means you may be significantly hindered in what you can purchase when it comes to new REs. Now, Reason 7 and 8 spent most of their upgrade points on bringing workflow improvements. If these don't seem necessary, you may not need it. Now, if you work heavily with audio or live recording or even manipulating samples of recordings, the audio quantization and slicing may be enough for you to be upgrading. Now, for you Reason 7 owners, I won't try to convince you because based purely on whether or not you've already upgraded, you probably have your mind made up. But maybe, just maybe you need to take a quick look for yourself and make sure you're going with the right decision. I will go ahead and make this quick. If the changes in the browser operation, addition of drag and drop, two decent sounding guitar bass amp slash cab emulators, and the addition of the RV7000 Mark II convolution reverb, the first sample loading impulse response reverb and reason do not seem worth $129 to you, don't upgrade. You're only missing out on a handful of things. For me, this handful is a bounty that I easily handed over funds for, but like anything of monetary value, its value is subjective. Well, that's all I got. This leads me to my question of the week. Why did you upgrade? Or if you didn't, why didn't you? Please leave a comment in the section below. Hit me up on Twitter or Facebook, and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Once again, this has been Fretless Fingers. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.